Hello there, Chuck and friends. It is Making Maria, your independent Chuck Couture designer. Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. It is a great day today. And do you know why? The little UPS guy showed up today with two. Well, okay, one of them was a really big box, and one of them was just kind of big. I didn't realize it was going to be two boxes. But I got my stuff today. Oh, I'm being so good, though. I had to hide them in the dining room so I didn't open them. <laughs> I'm trying to be so good and not open them. So I'm just watching videos of other people opening them <laughs> so that I can feel like I opened mine. Um, okay, not really, but it sounded good, didn't it, that I would be opening them? So today is our very first Workshop Wednesday. Oh my gosh, isn't that awesome? Workshop Wednesday. So what does Workshop Wednesday mean? What Workshop Wednesday is, is there's a couple dates out there in the calendar and I send you the project. So you are going to have the opportunity to create the project right along with me. So it's basically my normal live video, only you get to make it too. So instead of just sitting back and hanging out and watching me make it, you get the opportunity to make it too. It gives us the opportunity for those of you who are not local to me and can't come to my little workshops that I have, it gives you the opportunity to create with us um, ask questions if you have it, any, and uh, kind of just have fun and create instead of just, you know, hanging back with your glass of wine and watching me. <laughs> Which is what I'm sure you all do, right? Is sit back with your glass of wine. Although, I don't know, do you drink wine on a Wednesday? I don't know, when don't you drink wine? Really, this is the moral to the story, right? So we're going to ink some tea towels tonight. So I want to make sure that our Wednesday people are here. The, our little workshop people that are ready to craft with me. And I see one of you. Hello there, Miss Linda Squared. Welcome, welcome. Cheryl is here. So welcome, everybody. I did hit the live button a little bit earlier than I normally do because I figured I should try to be punctual <laughs> if we're going to do workshops. So for a workshop Wednesday, I will post in the group what you need on your own to have with you. So for this one, you probably need a towel maybe some wipes or some paper towel. You need a water bath so you can wash your transfer in between um, tea, or in between inking. And you need your iron. Now, you don't have to iron it along with me. Um, you can if you want to. Um, but those are the things that you're gonna need. The only other thing that I'm realizing I forgot to put in the little post that I did was you need parchment paper so that you can um, put it over your project when you're ironing it. So inking is super easy, super fun. Everybody needs to make tea towels. Hello there, Miss Linda Linda. So I'm making Maria. I'm an independent Chaka Couture designer. Chaka Couture is an amazing company, absolutely positively amazing, life-changing for me. Um, and it's super fun. We are, ready for this, creating, or chalking, I'm sorry, the Halls, Walls, Accents, and Accessories of Homes all across America. We were created to be designed, loved, and repeated for every season and any reason, and we bring easy, high-end DIY home decor directly to you by offering reusable silkscreen transfers, chalkology paste, couture ink, surfaces you can create on, and accessories to make chalking super easy, super fun. This is no stress crafting. Zero stress. Okay, inking is a little more stressful than chalk, but not much. <laughs> just a little bit okay so Lisa is here Linda squared is here uh, I'm trying to remember Linda Linda is here okay so we have three we need Virginia Miss Virginia we need Virginia because those are our fun people that are going to be chalking right or inking I'm sorry inking right along with us the next workshop Wednesday that we are doing is we're going to make earrings I'm throwing things on the floor. And we've made these before. And this is just one example of the wood type of earring. But they're these super cute little dangly. This is the wider one. These are the teardrop ones. There's a, a stick one. And then there's kind of a wavy one that are skinnier. But they're super fun, very lightweight wooden earrings. But there's some really cute little fun, um, just, you know, you get to chalk right on your earrings and you can match them to any outfit oops or anything that you want to do so this is our next workshop wednesday this one is on the 26th 
And there's all kinds of different patterns and all kinds of different things that you can do to them. Um, you can paint them different colors and then we chalk on them with different colors. It's just going to be so much fun. So workshop Wednesday. Um, earrings is the next one. It's on the 26th. So if you want to chalk along with this and make yourself, you get three pairs of earrings. Um, so if you want to um, do it, join in with us. Cheryl says she is crafting, just not chalking, stamping envelopes for the wedding. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Cheryl is a huge stamp it up or stamping person. She makes absolutely like crazy beautiful things. And uh, she is making all of the invitations for her daughter's wedding, all the thank you cards, all the place, I, everything she's made, which is crazy, crazy busy. So she, and she, I'm sure they're gorgeous. Okay, so we have everybody here but Virginia. So we're gonna get started. Virginia is the only one of you, I think too, that has never inked. Okay, well, I can keep talking. <laughs> We all know I can keep talking, right? There's no shortage of gabbing in Maria's little world here. So let's talk tea towels. So this one has just really cool white tea towels. I like to make these white ones. These are super nice quality tea towel. Um, oops, let's get, let's get you so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but they're really a nice tea towel. Things I've learned about tea towels when you're shopping for tea towels. Some of them have a little hooky thing so that you can hang them. Make sure you know where your little hooky thing is before you go to ink on your tea towel. You want your tea towel material to be flat and not super bumpy because if you have a super bumpy fabric, you're going to have a hard time smoothing it out so that you don't get a bleed. So those are things you want to look for. But basically, you know, any plain old cotton tea towel, you can ink on. Um, once you use ink and you heat set it, you can wash it. So it's not going to go anywhere. And these make... These are fun to make for your own kitchen because you can match your colors to your home, own home decor. And they're really, really nice gifts. So they're a very, very fun thing to make. Hello, Kathy Moon. Hello, Miss Debbie from Texas. What kind are they again? Are they Annie M's? Yes, Cheryl, they are Annie M's tea towels. These are the tea towels I like to use for this. Um, who did I miss? I missed saying hi to somebody. Nope, oh, okay, I think I got everybody. Hello. Okay, so... So first thing when you're going to ink, if you're doing it on your own without a little bundle that Maria has sent to you, is you're going to check out a towel. You need a towel. Then the next biggest decision you're going to make is what transfer are you going to put on it. And you had lots of options. Um, many of you picked Live Simply, which I'm not going to do tonight because we're actually doing this tomorrow night on a different project. So, well, we might do it tonight anyway. Um, good things take time which I think is really appropriate for cooking, right? Because, you know, don't bug me about when dinner is going to be ready. This takes time. I am performing works of art here in the kitchen, people. Back off. Might take me some time to make it. So we've got good things take time. Bless this mess, right? <laughs> I don't know about you. I'm sure you're all very neat and tidy uh, bakers and cookers, but not, not Maria. Mm -mm. Chefs, that's the word I was looking for, not cookers. <laughs> My kitchen's a mess by the time I'm done. Um, so this is a really cute one on a tea towel. And then this, ooh, I've never made this one, so we're making this one for the first time, and it says, ooh la la, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ooh la la, ooh la la. Because that is hopefully what people say about my food after I make it. <laughs> That's always my goal, right? Is that people enjoy it and uh, love it. So we're going to make ooh la la first, because this is really, I mean, look, it's got some really fun little details. It's got the dots, it's got, Swoosh, swooshy, swirly things. So we're gonna make this one first. All right, are you ladies ready? My fellow crafters, this is it. This is so much fun. Oh my gosh, so much fun. All right, so you take your tea towel, make sure you know where your hooky thing is, okay? And then you need to decide where on your towel are you going to put your design. I tend to always put them in the center because I fold my towels in thirds. Some people put it on the diagonal on the corner because they're gonna hang it from the hooky thing. Everybody's different. And that is the beauty of crafting is you can put your sentiment wherever the heck you want to. You can put it all over the towel if you wanted to. But it's your freedom and your creativity to put it where you want to. So we have our towel, we have our sentiment. We're going to prepare our surface to pull out your ink mat. So for those of you who did this, you have a piece of ink mat. This is a whole one, but you guys have a chunk. 
um, that is perfect for your tea towel. You're going to take this and you're going to put it underneath your towel. And then you're going to smooth out your towel and stick it to your ink mat. Now, why do you need an ink mat? You don't have to have an ink mat. I'm the first one to tell you, you do not have to have an ink mat in order to be able to do this. However, it's like all tools, some tools just make it easier. <laughs> Linda says she's ready and how come I'm not in my PJs? Because I thought about it, Linda, we did talk about this yesterday, that you know, we should be chalking in our PJs, right? And we're all gonna be crafting together. Yeah, I don't have my PJs on. I don't think I can go live and then put it on YouTube in my PJs. You guys can be in your PJs, but I'm not quite ready. I, I did take my bathroom off, though. <laughs> it's all wrapped around me. All right, so you take your towel and you smooth it out to your ink mat. And as I was saying, you don't have to have an ink mat, but it does make inking a little bit easier because your ink mat is sticky. So it holds your fabric in place and it also helps smooth out any bumps. So if you did buy a tea towel or any fabric that you're going to ink on that has you know, some texture to it, your ink mat is your friend because you can smooth it out and then it helps minimize the bumps. You still have bumps and you still have to be careful, but you don't have to, oh my goodness, Lisa is in her PJs. Okay, this is so funny. So our fellow crafters, that are doing our fun little workshop here are actually in their pajamas. Good for you guys. I have my slippers on, does that count? <laughs> oh, Lisa, Linda does too. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. All right, so lady, oh, Verge is here. Okay, Verge, welcome. So Verge, have you caught up to us? You got all your ma your materials out, you're ready to, you got your ink mat, you've got your tea towel, you've got your transfer. Now your next step is to take your transfer out of the package. Now your pack package has a little flap on it that you're going to open okay don't cut it open it by the flap because then you can slide it right back in there and store it right in there so you pull your little transfer out of the package for when you forget all the things that Maria said on the back of it are step-by-step -step instructions so you have step-by-step -step exactly what you need to do um, so don't feel like oh my gosh I have to remember every single thing she said it's all right here so that you've got it so you take your transfer you're gonna flip it over and you're going to write the name of your transfer on it. Ooh, it has two O's in it. Ooh, la la is the name of my transfer. Hello, Miss Janine. Welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Okay, so you put your name on the back of your transfer. You do that for two reasons. Number one, you need to know which transfer goes on which backer sheet, so that helps you learn or know which one goes on which one. And the other reason is you need to know which side of your backer sheet is the back because they are very different, the two sides of them. Your sticky side, pull that off there. Your sticky side goes on the, or your, yeah, your sticky transfer, of the sticky part of your transfer goes on the shiny side. The dull side is the back. So you're gonna carefully remove your transfer from your backer sheet, oh my gosh. Linda Squared's in her pajamas too. This Okay, how many of you are in your pajamas? <laughs> I realize I do my videos a little late, um, but I think that's so funny that so many of you are in your pajamas. That is just cracking me up. All right, next time we do a workshop Wednesday, I'll wear my pajamas too, but you know my pajamas are sweatpants and a sweatshirt, so it's not like I really look all that much different. We are crazy here tonight on Workshop Wednesday. So for those of you who are new and just joining us, welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Workshop is where um, I bundle together a little project, this project, I send it off to you, you sign up in advance, and we make the project together. So it's a little bit different than my normal videos that I do every night because you guys are crafting with me, so this is so much fun. I was saying to my husband before I came down here tonight, I'm like, you know, I make a video every night, but tonight you guys are doing it with me. It's just so much fun to know that you guys are, you know, in the same boat as me. Hello, Miss Terry from Texas. Hello, Miss Vicki from Canada. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Okay, so we have removed our transfer from our transfer sheet. We have it sticky side up. I'm going to place it on my tea towel where I want it. I put my transfer down and I smoosh out my air. I don't want any air bubbles in my silk screen. 
because air will give me a bleed as I go to push my squeegee across. All right, so everybody got their transfer down? Next thing is you need a squeegee. My squeegee, I, gotta, I need to go through and wash off all my squeegees. You can tell I've had workshops lately. Your squeegee has two sides, flat side, angled side. Angled side is the front. This is the side you're going to if dip in your ink. Hello, my crafting partner, Miss Vicky. Linda says, pretty much all of us but you are in our, my, my PJs. All right. You know, I could have left my bathrobe on. I crafted with you all yesterday with my bathrobe on. I could have left it on. I could put it back on. No, I'm not going to, though. I'm going to behave. We might have new people watching us. If you are new, please feel free to join in and say hello. Um, we're a very friendly talking group. We chit chat a lot the whole time we create, but feel free to join us. We are very friendly and we, we love to talk to new people and find out where you are and, you know, get to know you. So comment or say hi if you're new. So you guys have your ink color already because you picked your ink color. So for me, don't you think ooh la la should be like ruby red? Uh-huh, uh-huh. We're going with current jam. So I'm going to open up my ink. Ink is ready to go as soon as you open it. You don't stir it. You don't add water to it. You don't do anything. You take your squeegee, angled side, you dip it. Okay? I check my fingers anytime I touch my ink because I don't want to um, have ink on my fingers and then touch my material. And I just place my squeegee on my transfer and I go straight up and down. I'm not going flat. See, I got that big blob. I'm going straight up and down with my squeegee, very gently. You don't need to do a lot of pressure. You just need to make sure that your ink goes through the silk screen. Verge, are you are you inking your towels with us? So Virginia just did something. So thank you very much, Miss Virginia, for reminding me. If you can please do that, it helps me tremendously when you do that. So thank you, thank you to all of you who take the time to do that. This is how hard this is. <laughs> I mean, seriously, people, anybody can do this. So I load up my silk screen with ink. I take all this excess ink that's on my squeegee. I put it right back in my ink container. You guys either have a paper towel, a napkin, something, a baby wipe, something. Get it out and just wipe off your squeegee right away. You don't want to leave a squeegee with ink on it laying around somewhere because it's ink. And if you get it on you, your clothes, your project, it's not going to come off. So close up your ink and do everything right away. Now I have ink on my fingers, so I'm going to use another wipe and wash off my fingers. Okay? So I just make sure I have all my ink off and I'm ready to pull my transfer off. Start it in the corner. And I pull it from the middle. Ooh, la la. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what everyone should say when they eat my food. Ooh, la la. Take this and I throw it right in my water bath. I push it down so it gets all wet in my water. Now, the next step I need to do is I need to dry my ink. But I need to remove my ink mat. So take your ink mat out. Oops, my squeegees are. I'm like, what the heck is under there? My squeegees are in there. Be careful not to have your project touch itself because you have wet ink. Okay. So I need to dry this so that I can heat set it. So you just use your hair dryer and dry your ink. Is everybody with me? You're just drying it. You can tell when your ink is dry. I'll show you in a minute how I do that. But your ink is always going to feel tacky to the touch until you heat set it. Once you heat set it, it's not tacky anymore. So I'm just giving it a quick little dry. It doesn't take very long. Now this is my trick on how I tell. I look at my hands, I have no ink on my hands. I go down and up and see, 
I got ink. So I know down here I'm not dry. I do the same thing on this side. Again, apparently, I did really good at drying it except at the bottom. Wash this off so you don't touch your project, again, with ink on your hands. And I'm just going to quick dry that bottom part that I hadn't, didn't get. And now I'm ready to iron it. Verge is in her PJs in bed. Oh, I'm sorry, Verge. Verge isn't crafting with us. She's tired. Okay. So again, just giving it a quick little dry. So now I'm ready to heat set. Now I'm going to show you how to heat set, but if you have an iron, it's going to take you longer to do this. So how you heat set is you are going to dry iron for four minutes on each side. I have this fancy little thing called an easy press. So I, it doesn't take me as long. Oops, sorry. So you, I have like my ironing board underneath it. I have a piece of parchment paper, I slide that over. I'm gonna take my little gray mat out because I don't wanna get all the, get hot. And then you're gonna iron. I'm dropping things everywhere. You're gonna iron for four minutes. I don't iron, I heat press. So it only takes me 30 seconds. But that's it. That's how e quick and easy this is to do. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to wash off your transfer because for those of you who did this cute little bundle, you have one transfer and you got three towels. So now you can keep going and you can make another one. So my little thing counts it down for me, tells me exactly how long, so I know, and it's gonna beep when it's done. Pull out my parchment paper, love the steam. I flip it over and I do the same exact thing on the other side, but I don't need my parchment paper on the other side. And I just, again, hold it down. So now we're ready to wash off our transfer. So you're going to take it out of the water bath. I'm going to show you here in a minute. We're going to rub all of the ink off of it. You might wipe it down with a board eraser and um, dry it. And then we're ready to use it again. Linda, Linda, that is a fantastic question. How do you clean your ink mat? How you clean your ink mat Love all that steam. So now I fold up my towel. I like to do mine in thirds. And this bad boy is ready to go in the washing machine. So I have ooh la la shishkumba is what I want to say after that. Ooh la la shishkumba. I don't know why, why I have that stuck in my head, but this is a Oh my gosh. Okay, so Linda, how you clean your ink mat. Do not use a baby wipe or a disinfectant wipe on your ink mat. No, no, no. If you got ink on your ink mat, just take a towel or a paper towel and blot it. Let me grab my ink mat. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so see, so you can see there's ink all over here. That happens because my ink goes through sometimes, depending on how thin the fabric is, it goes through and then it gets on your ink mat. If you have wet ink on your transfer, or on your ink mat, you take a towel, I use a rag. Um, you can use a rag, you can use paper towel. And I just, you just go up and down until you blot, you don't see ink on it anymore, okay? If you're gonna use your ink mat right away. If you're not gonna use your ink mat right away, you take it to the sink, and you run cold water on it, and you can rub the ink off of it gently. Because your ink mat is sticky, you'll take the stick off of it if you rub it too hard. So no board eraser, no baby wipe, no disinfectant wipe, just plain old water. This, the ink doesn't hurt it. It's just if you wanna use your ink mat right away again, you need to um, have your ink mat be clean because you don't, you don't want ink on it and then put your project on it and then you get that residue of ink on the back side of your project. Um, so that's how you clean your ink mat. Just, if you use a baby wipe or use a disinfectant wipe, you take the stick off it. The other thing that happens with your ink mats, which is a perfectly fantastic question, Miss Linda, 
especially if you're doing it on a new sweatshirt because you know the inside of sweatshirts are so fuzzy all that fuzz sticks like glue to your ink mat so you do have to wash that off and again just like you wash your fuzz off of your back of your transfers you just rub it up and down in the sink and get it off and it will get sticky again okay because like this one the other day if you remember it was super not sticky and it's because the last thing I had done with it was a sweatshirt I just washed it off in the sink and now it's sticky again but you do have to be careful with your ink mat if for some reason your ink mat like my ink mats get used often 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 um, after a long time I'll spray them with uh, like an easy tack to make them sticky again so that I can keep using them um, that only works for a little while though uh, but my ink mats get used way more than your ink mats are gonna get used but this is a super cute little towel ooh la la shish kumbab. okay so time to wash our transfers ladies so put your project aside you can iron yours later or you can you know I've talked for four minutes so you've probably been ironing <laughs> I love the ooh la la too Lisa I think it's just so funny in my kitchen ooh la la that is exactly what I want people to say every time I cook ooh la la all right time to clean my transfer so I'm gonna just put a towel down because I don't want to get everything all wet so I put a little towel down I've got my water bath next to me okay which has, you can see it has the ink in it. I take my transfer, see it has ink all over it, and I just gently rub the ink off, just like so. This is the same way you take fuzz off. So because you use this on a tea towel or fabric, if you, ha if you have a fuzzier towel, you now have fuzz on the back of your transfer. So you have to get that off so you're, it helps your transfer last longer. Okay, so I take it off, I let the water run off of it, and I'm going to put it right on my towel. The next thing I do is I take our board eraser, which mine is ugly. They don't look that ugly when you first get them, but I get, again, mine get used very well, often. And I'm just going to take my board eraser, and I'm just going to run it up and down my transfer. Now I do this because what it does is it takes that pigment from the ink off of my transfer. And it really wants to stick to this. You can tell this is a new transfer. So I'm just going to rub. The pigment doesn't hurt your transfer. It just, you know, it's an aesthetic thing, right? If it doesn't bother you, which half the time it doesn't bother me, I leave it there. Okay, so I just rinsed it off again. I'm going to use my fuzzing towel because my fuzzing towel has two sides to it. It's a terry cloth side on one side and it is microfiber on the other. It's made for drying your transfers, so it works really, really well for drying your transfers. So I just dry my transfer off. Make sure your silk screen is dry, and you'll notice your transfer is not sticky anymore. My transfer is not sticky anymore because it's wet. But as it dries, my stick is gonna come back to it. And you'll know right away, because like right now, see, it's it's starting to come back because it's drying okay so I just kind of air them out ooh la la <laughs> I love this transfer okay so I'm just airing it out and it's ready to be used again it's sticky I can put it right on my next tea towel so for those of you who are making this right along with me for our happy little workshop Wednesday you are ready to make your next towel I am going to switch transfers because I'm trying to use the transfers you guys got so that you can see the different ones. This one's a, let's do bless your mess. Bless this mess. Okay. Grab a tea towel. Now we're going to do the same exact process. Grab my ink mat. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to our chicken party. We're doing workshop Wednesday tonight. Amanda, we are making tea towels. Again, open up my towel. Make sure I know where my hanger guy is. Decide where you want to place your transfer. Does everybody have their first towel done? Is everybody still with me? Does anybody have any questions? Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> okay. Make sure I'm in the center. 
which is where I want to put, bless this mess, in the middle. I'm not a measurer. If you want to measure, feel free. Take it off of my backer sheet, set my backer sheet aside. Take my transfer, place it on, smoosh out my air. That's how hard this is. Press it down so that I get a good stick of my transfer. Make sure you don't have any air. And with Bless This Mess, let's use, mm, let's use papaya. Oh, Linda's first towel is done. Woohoo! good job, Linda. Linda, Linda, I'm trying to remember which transfer did you have. Do you have li live simply, Linda? Oh, Linda's first towel is done too. Oh, good job. You guys are gonna post pictures, right? <laughs> so this is papaya. It's a very pretty pumpkin pie orange, which happens to be the color of my kitchen. So, again, are you guys ready to do your second towel or am I going too fast? So Workshop Wednesday, for those of you, again, who are new to us, this is not normally what we do. Um, we'll probably do this twice a month where you guys have the opportunity to create right along with me. Um, so I'm just making sure everybody's with me before I keep going. So are you guys ready to do your second one? Are you got questions or are you good? So I take my squeegee. I'm going to dip it right in. Check my fingers. Make sure I have no ink on. And again, just go straight across. Oh, Linda's good. Okay. And I just cover up my silk screen. This is a very pretty color. It happens to be one of my very favorite colors. It's kind of that uh, rusty pumpkin pie orange. Again, I'm just going straight across, squeegeeing off. Oh, Linda's good too. Okay, both Linda's are good. Lisa's good. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Because our next one, when we're going to do the earrings, we're going to do a little more, will be a little more complicated because you can paint your earrings if you choose to. You don't have to. They're just natural wood. Um, but you can paint them if you want to before we chalk them. So I'm going to show you how to do that on the 26th. That's our next little workshop. Check my fingers, make sure I don't have any ink. Pull my transfer off. Pull it back so you can see it. Oops, I have a, I almost put it in the lid of my ink. Always know where your ink is. So we have, I am knocking things all over. We have Bless This Mess. Take my ink mat out, set it aside. We're gonna dry, make sure I don't have any ink. I'm touching my towel. We're gonna dry our ink. This is really cute too, bless this mess. It's really pretty much how I feel about my house on a daily basis. Because <laughs> sometimes you just gotta throw your hands in the air and say, I give up. Today was one of those days. My children have been grounded because their rooms aren't picked up. And they've been grounded for enough days now that I thought, okay, today's the day I'm gonna go up there. Their rooms are gonna be perfect. They keep telling me their rooms are perfect. I gotta say, Charlie's room was pretty good though. He was so close, except he forgot to flush his toilet. <laughs> Does anybody else have this problem with little kids? I feel like it's just me that my kids just don't understand how to flush a toilet. So I'm just drying my ink. Not to totally digress here on, you know, bathroom issues, but I don't know. I, and I went through this with all my kids. So now it's time to test and see if my, oops, I have ink on my hand. Good thing I looked. Okay, time to test. Oops, my hand's a little wet. Okay, hands dry. Up and down, no ink. Up and down, no ink. I'm ready to heat set. So I take my, I should just leave this out. I slide in my ironing board. Look at how fast this goes. Once you, you know, once you get in a groove, it's pretty fast to do. Put my parchment paper over, and you're gonna iron. Four minutes. You're gonna iron with a dry iron for four minutes on one side. Then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna iron it for four minutes on the other side. 
or you can get a Cricut Easy Press and it takes 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other side. It's really not that much of a savings in time for the expense of a, an Easy Press. An Easy Press is used for um, heat transfer vinyl, is its main intention, but it works really well to heat set ink as well. It's also a very nice iron. Okay, so I'm done on this side. Woo, I love this steam. This is when I get my facial. <laughs> is when I'm inking. Okay. Oh, I don't need that on this side. I just hit my button. So you guys having fun? Are you guys all with me? We got one more towel to do. And then your workshop Wednesday is all done. And then we got to wait till the next one where we make earrings, which could be super fun. That one will be a little more involved because you'll have to paint the earring, put the earring together, and then chalk on them, but I've got some really cool patterns that will be here later this week. So we're gonna do some fun things on the earrings. So if you want to join us for the February 26th workshop, just go in the Making Maria VIP group, which is where you can see um, that event and all the details. If you're not in the Making Maria VIP group, you can simply comment, add me, or go in your Facebook search bar and type in Making Maria VIP Group, and we will get you added to the group so that you can see all the fun things that we have going on in there, because that's where really all the fun happens. Okay, so now we, oh, that's sweet. I love this color. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it is papaya. That is a beautiful color. So now we have Bless This Mess. So we have Bless This Mess. And we have ooh, la, la. And I'm running over my parchment paper. So ooh, la, la would be really cute as well, done in chalk on a sign, I think, for like maybe in a bathroom. Um, or anywhere, you know, that around, surrounded by like on a wall, like maybe a gallery wall with kids, like baby pictures and stuff like that. It'd be super cute too. Okay, are you guys done with your second towel? Are we ready to go on to the third? Everybody with me. Hey, Lynn, Lori Baker, Baker Lori. Welcome to our chalk and party. It's Workshop Wednesday, Lori. And on Workshop Wednesday, you can create right along with me. So a bunch of our viewers have this project and they're making it at the same time I'm making it. Isn't that cool? Who knew, right, that we had this technology? Um, this would also be very similar to if you had a Three and Me event that was virtual. It would be something very similar to this, although we could do it where I can see you and you can see me if you want to. You don't have to do it that way. You can do it, again, where you just watch me. But the Three and Me events are also in the Making Maria VIP group, if you're not familiar with what those are. Um, it's an opportunity to host a class where I teach you how to either ink or chalk and um, maybe earn some fun things for yourself. So if you want to check that out, um, ooh, Linda did the I have the love transfer. Should we do red or current jam? Linda, I personally, my leaning is always to current jam because I find the red ink. Red ink is a little bit lighter in color to me than red chalk. Oops, that's not red. Where's my red chalk? I just cleaned out all my chalks yesterday, trying to get them all ready. But I think that the red ink is a little, here we go. Okay, so this is candy apple red chalk, and this is red ink. It's just a little lighter to me. So that's why I tend to lean, if I'm gonna do red, I tend to lean to current jam. Just because it's more of a deep, a whiny, maroony red. I like current jam. But it's, my per it's a personal preference. I don't think you can go wrong with the red. I'll open it for you. You know, it's a very pretty red. You can't go wrong. And it's the love heart, so you can do either. For the love, I guess maybe for the love heart. So what Linda's talking about, she has a transfer that says love, and the end of the E makes a little heart. It's super cute. Now I have red ink all over me, so I'm going to wash it off. Okay, so Lisa, Lisa says she's good. 
Linda Squared says she's good. All right, we're going to move on to our last tea towel. Ready? Get your ink mat out. Have you washed your transfer off? Everybody's ready? Where's my third towel? Oh, here's my third towel. Okay, make sure everybody's ready. Again, I'm going to open up my towel. Make sure I know where my hangy guy is. Here he is. Make sure you know where your loop is. That's the, you know, if you're going to hang it that way. Place your towel however you want. There's no right or wrong ways to hang in your towel. Attach it to your ink mat just so that it's nice and sticky. Okay, Linda Squared, this is your first use of an ink mat, isn't it? What are you thinking about the ink mat? Do you love the ink mat? Come on, Linda Squared, fess up. What do you think? Do you like the ink mat? So for this one, I do think good things take time is very appropriate for a kitchen towel. <laughs> oh, because that's how I pretty much feel about dinner on a regular basis is, you know, don't press me. It's going to be done when it's done, right? It takes time. And then we have Live Simply, which is just, you know, this is a beautiful transfer. Absolutely, positively love this transfer. So we'll do, we'll do Live Simply. Again, take your backer sheet off, put this aside because when you're done washing your transfer, you're going to put it back on here. Take your transfer, line it up where you want it, push out your air. So the next workshop Wednesday is on February 26th. We're doing earrings. The one after that, I think we're going to do the splash technique, or we might do that as a Make It Monday bundle. For those of you who aren't familiar with the splash technique, what that is, is that's a background that you do on a canvas with watercolors that gives you kind of that watercolory cloud look, and then you can chalk a sentiment right over it. So we're going to do that one. So would you prefer that to be a workshop Wednesday or would you prefer that to be a Make It Monday bundle where I send you all the stuff so you can do the um, splash technique or would you rather have that be a workshop Wednesday where we do it live together? Let me know what you think on that. So I've got my Live Simply Push Down. We're going to do this one in Fig. Fig is a very pretty gray, pale purple. Linda Squared loves it. What do you love, Linda Squared? Your towel you made? Or the splash technique? Oh, oh, the ink mat. You love it. Do you really? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm glad you love it. Linda is saying, Linda, Linda, Linda is saying, oh, yes. As in, you love the ink mat? Are we still talking ink mat? That's the problem with the Facebook delay. I should just stop talking. But then there'd be dead air, right? And who wants to listen to dead air? So Linda, Linda, what are you saying oh yes to? Linda Squared saying she loves her ink map. Okay, so are you saying you love the ink map too? Ink map? I gotta tell you, I am the first one that said I thought the ink map was a bunch of hooey. <laughs> when it first came out, I'm like, seriously? Ooh, you, just, you just put a piece of tissue paper or a piece of cardboard in between it. You don't need an ink mat. And then I got an ink mat, and I was like, okay. Now I understand. <laughs> it's very nice to have. All right, so I take my squeegee. I dip. Oh, I, hey, are you guys ready to go? I'm just going. Are you on your next towel? I'm just going to keep going. I'm assuming you're going to catch up to me if you're not with me. Take my squeegee, dip it right in my ink, so my ink is all loaded up. Ooh, Linda likes the splash technique. Okay, do you want to do that, Linda, as a workshop, or do you want to do that as a Make It Monday bundle? I mean, it's basically the same thing, right? So I'm just, again, going, just gliding right over my silk screen. I'm very careful. I'm very careful that I don't go off of my silk screen because again it's ink. If I go off of my silk screen, I will end up with ink where I don't want it and it is not going to come off because it's ink. 
Okay, so again, just cover it up. You have converted her with the ink mat. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, that's funny. I'm glad to know I'm not the only one. Put all my excess back in. I really did think it was not a good idea. There's something else that I thought that same thing about, and then I got it, and I was like, what was that? I'm like, oh my gosh, this like is revolutionary. Okay, checking my fingers, making sure I don't have ink. Pulling off my, ooh, love this transfer. Sticking this in my water bath. This is the one most of you are making tonight, is Live Simply. And we're going to use it again tomorrow night. So for those of you who have this transfer, we're going to do it again so that you can see a different way to now take your transfer and make something else with it. So that it's not just, you know, these aren't one and done transfers. These are very nice transfers that you can make and create with over and over again. And that is the beauty of the fact that your transfers are reusable. So you can think about different ways to make them and in different applications, different you can use different pieces of them, different parts of them. Um, you can do all kinds of fun things. So I'm taking my ink mat out. I really need to just move my squeegees. Ah, don't don't have your ink touch itself or the towel someplace else because you'll end up with ink where you don't want it. Got some fuzzies. And oh, love this transfer. I'm so sad that they're retiring this one. So this Live Simply is retiring when it's sold out. So if it's one you want, you need to let me know ASAP. Most of you, I think, have it. It's just so pretty. And it has so many applications, right? It's beautiful on a journal. It's beautiful on a tea towel. On a t-shirt, a sweatshirt. Um, we're going to make it tomorrow on a board with some pieces from a few other transfers. So it's just a really fun cute little sentiments and this is another one when I'm like oh that's kind of it's nice but I can't really see myself making that that much and I make this one all the time so I'm just drying my ink it's test time am I dry yes Cheryl I have one for you I have it in a pile upstairs for you I, with your catalog too because don't I still have your catalog I think I still have your catalog too. Okay, so my ink is dry. I should just come see you, Cheryl. I take my ink mat, I stick it right underneath. Or not my ink mat, I'm sorry. My heat mat. Put my parchment paper, I use the same piece of parchment paper over and over again, as I'm sure you can tell. Uh, the only time you can't do that is if you get ink on it. And you can use it. You just gotta let your ink dry. <laughs> And then you can use it. But yeah, Cheryl, I have one for you. Okay, and now we just wait our 30 seconds. Is everybody with me? Everybody got their three towels done? I'll show you one more time how to wash your transfer and how to put it back on its backer sheet and store it. And then our workshop Wednesday is officially done. I made the Live Simply on the board on Saturday with my sister, Carol. Ooh, how fun, Lisa. It's a great little transfer. Again, I have lots of steam. Flip it over. Yes, I have my Be Kind transfer to give you too. Oh, you know what? They haven't emailed me back yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check with them tomorrow. It usually doesn't take this long for them to email me back. I know it was launch week, and when launch weeks happen, they get very slow. Um, but I have not heard back yet about the Be Kind. Okay, so I, again, I'm just do, 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 do. Sitting here for my 30 seconds. This is a beautiful transfer. Okay. Take my heat mat out. You know, it's gotten so much easier since I got that heat mat. <laughs> I used to, you know, lug my little tabletop ironing board up and down. No, I don't have to do that. Fold up my towel, flip it over, and voila. We have Live Simply. Super cute. So these are our three, well here, I gotta get this, you don't wanna look at that ugly table. Okay, I got my three tea towels that we made tonight. Ooh la la, Live Simply and bless this 
mess are our three projects that we made for Workshop Wednesday. Oops, I know what I did. I was going to tell you I was going to wash off my transfer. So again, I pull over my water bath. Okay. My transfer is in the water, and I just rub it. Oh, Glinda, Linda, I'm glad this was fun. It was fun. It's so much fun knowing you guys are doing it with me. Plus, you know, if you're going to buy transfers, you got to use them. There's no sitting them in the closet. Okay, so I just rub it off, let my water pour off of it, and I put it sticky side up. I'll just do this one right away, too. And then I'll be right, this is kind of nice, I'll be ready to go to bed when we're done. Usually I'm doing all this after I'm done, we're done being live. Okay, they're sticky side up. Woo! Don't dump your water bath all over you. <laughs> well, it was better than the time I did the whole glass of water, right? Okay, so just quick, give it a dry. Okay, dry off your transfer. Let it get sticky again. Linda agrees it was, or Lisa agrees it was really fun. Oh, good, I'm glad. Okay, so again, we just dry them off, air them a little bit. They don't have to be completely dry to go back on their backer sheets. You just don't want them dripping wet. Because I can feel them. They're already starting to get sticky again. Oops, do one at a time here. Just kind of pat it down. It's dry enough to go on this backer sheet. I take my backer sheet. Again, I know which side is the back and which side is the front. I, I always, this is a trick. Don't do this. Don't put your backer sheet down and try to put it on your backer sheet, especially as your transfers get larger. It's much easier to lay your transfer down and put your backer sheet on to your transfer than it is to do it the other way. Now I'm all done. I slide this right back into its plastic sleeve and that's how you store it. So again, I lay it face down or sticky side up. I take my, I know right away which transfer goes on which one, which side is the back. I just place it right on here and voila, they're all ready to be stored. Just like that, like magic. We're cleaned up. <laughs> Score Maria. This is like an extra added bonus tonight. So these are our super fun little tea towels so oh Lisa can't wait to do the earrings on the 26th I know it's gonna be so much fun I like the earrings and I don't even wear earrings but I think that they'd be a, they're super cute if you especially for those of you with long hair that's not gray <laughs> they're super cute and so there's the teardrop ones then there's these like skinny little narrow wood, rectangle wood ones and then there's like a skinny rectangle one that kind of has a little swirly I'll, I'll take a picture of them unfinished and post it so you can see the earrings. Um, so you get the three pairs of earrings, you get the chalk paste, you get the pattern transfers, which is what's cool about them is you get pieces of pattern transfers for those of you who are looking for patterns. It's kind of nice. They're not big pieces, um, but they're, you know, patterns. So you get to have a pattern and you can use any pattern. So you get the earrings, the paste packets, the squeegee, the patterns, and that's the one we're doing on the 26th. That's all I got. Tomorrow night we're making a fun little project and we're gonna use Live Simply again so that you can see one more use of your transfer. We're actually using this and I know you're gonna be shocked. We're using this and the Club Couture transfer. A p one piece of the Club Couture transfer we're gonna use with this and make a super cute little board. Um, not a board, uh, like a hanging sign. So the Club Couture transfer, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, the Club Couture is a monthly subscription where for $19.99 a month you get a B size transfer and three paste packets delivered like magic for free, free shipping to your home. So it's $19.99 a month, you get a 8.5 by 11 size transfer and three paste packets. It's like your little half an hour of guaranteed me time every month that comes in this really cute little envelope. And sometimes they're whimsical, sometimes they're holiday, sometimes they're home decor, like the current one is home decor that has so many uses. I've been having so much fun with it. Um, and we're doing several promotions for the Club Couture this month. One of the biggest promotions is if you are a 
current club member or a new club member joining this month, for the entire month you get 20% off of paste jars, which is a huge sale. They've never done that before. Um, so it's a great opportunity to stock up on new paste colors because we are kind of coming out of winter colors and going into spring colors, so um, you're going to want to change up your, your paste colors. So the club has some very nice benefits to it. So if you want information about the club, you can comment club or there's lots of posts out here <laughs> about the club. And then there's uh, two special things that I'm doing in the Making Maria VIP group if you join this month. One of them we need to hit 10 members for, and the other one is just a, a gift from me for everybody that joins. So I'm rambling about the club. If you want to check out any of these amazing products, you can go to www.chalkcouture.com slash Maria, and you can see this is the Live Simply Transfer, which is about to be retired. Bless this mess, and ooh la la. Are they, they're all A-size transfers. A-size transfers are $9.99. Um, so anytime you want to know the price of a transfer, all you have to do is know its size because they're all priced the same way based on their letter. If you're not in the VIP group, you can comment add me or again put it in your search bar and request to join. If you are curious at all about all the different ways that you can use a Chalk Couture designer shift to have fun and save money or make money, um, please feel free to message me or comment curious and I'd be happy to get you the information. It's up to you as to whether or not you decide you want to do it or not. That's all I got. All right, I will be back at you tomorrow night for Thursday. We're going to have some super fun with Live Simply. Thank you so much for watching me. And I hope, thank you for having a workshop with me. I hope you had fun. I hope you thought it was worth it. Um, I would love feedback about it if you're looking, you know, would love to know. If there's something you think we should be doing better or different. Um, but I'm hanging up now because I'm starting to ramble. Have a super fantastic Thursday. Thank you so much for those of you, for everybody, but... For those of you who created right along with me, I can't wait to see pictures of your towels. So post them, please. Please post pictures so that we can see. Thanks, guys. Have a great Thursday. See ya.